Mari was last seen at the Emerald Suites in the area of Twain in Paradise. Search crews were out there again today searching for any potential clues. Joe Moeller also out there live right now joining us with the very latest on this investigation. Joe. Brian, earlier today, uh, a lot of people were coming by this parking lot here trying to help uh, get information. They're picking up flyers just like this so they can pass them out to the community. Now, just a short time ago, Metro released a video regarding this case. They say they're still looking for information. They're working day and night trying to get whatever they can. And this is the complex next door to this parking lot where Amari was last known to be. And Metro says they went door to door seeking information here. For days now, a nonprofit has been coming to this area to set up a search party and a booth to get information out. Amari was last seen Wednesday. His mom says her boyfriend was watching him. The boyfriend told me someone from the father's side picked up Amari, but he didn't say who. That family says that is not true. People have been coming throughout the day here. We met Tiana Allen, who stopped by to pick up a sack of flyers. This has my attention because I know this neighborhood. We're by the strip. There's cameras all throughout here, okay? The story didn't make sense. I'm a mother, I can never just leave my kid. Amari's aunt from California came to help as well. She says they have not talked with the child's mom and they have not seen her. Yolanda Everett says they are getting desperate for any sort of tip. We couldn't do anything in California. We had to be here and talk to people so they see that he does have family. There's people that really care about him and want him to come home. Amari's father lives in Reno and was reportedly there when he went missing. He was, uh, he has since been in Las Vegas helping with his search. Now back out here live, some people have been wondering why there has been no Amber Alert related to this case, and that is because there is no suspect description or vehicle involved that they know of. So that is why there has been no Amber Alert. Now the uh, father's uh, side of the family, Yolanda, who you just heard there, they are putting out thirty thousand dollars for any information leading to Amari's whereabouts. Reporting live here near Twain in Paradise, Joe Moore, 8 News Now.